Hello YouTube and welcome to RPG Dawn. Here I hope to teach you all about the new RPG Maker MV, and hopefully learn from you. The first thing to do once you open your RPG Maker MV, is to go to File, click New Project, and then name your project. We're just going to call it Test for now, and then we're going to name our actual game, the game title, Test 1. Now we just click OK and wait for that to load. You should see a screen like this once you're ready. The first thing you might want to do is to make one of your characters. To do that, go to Tools, then Character Generator, and here you should see a menu with many options, from Face to Accessories. Go ahead and develop your character. For the sake of the video, we're just going to leave the standard one. Once you have that, you're going to want to save the face image, the walking image, and the battle image. To do that, you have to click each option, and then click Export. Don't change the save destination, but make sure you give it a name that you'll recognize. For now, we'll just call it Test Face. We'll do the same for the walk picture and the battle picture. Make sure you're using export to save. Once you have all that done, you're ready to place your character onto your map. To do that, click the cogwheels image right here. On the Actors tab on the left toolbar, delete each character here. Choose the Clear option to delete. Now to add your character, choose the first row. Type the name as well as any nickname you may want to give your character. We're just going to use Bob. You can decide on the class and any level ranges you want later. Each of the images we saved before, we're going to want to add to our boxes here. Double click on the face box and choose whatever you named the face of your character. You'll see it pop up here. Do the same for the other two boxes. Once you're ready, click Apply, then OK. Now that you've made your character, you're going to want to add it to your map. To do so, go back to the cogwheel icon, choose System, and delete any names of actors that may be here. Double click on the first row, and choose the character that you created. Make sure the starting position is on the map you choose, and on the spot you like. Simply click on the map to choose their starting point. Click OK once you're ready. Choose Apply, then OK to make sure. Your character should now be on the map where you decided they should be. This concludes the first part of our tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. Also, leave any comments in the description of what you would like to learn. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.